Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, I'm going to do a book review of Empty by Suzanne Quinn. Uh, right before I start, I'm just going to straight out tell you, if you don't like spoilers, they're spoilers. So, this book is 10 years in the future. The book is revolves around the fact that 10 years in the future, there might not be fossil fuels. Fossil fuels meaning, like, things that burn that you don't get back. Fuel prices will probably be way too expensive, $80 a gallon. So this book follows three main characters. Tom, Gwen, and Nikki. They all live separate lives, but they all end up merging at the end. Gwen is a high school student who's living alone with her brother, and her brother is doing illegal activities such as smuggling gas selling it on the black market for stupid ridiculous prices and in the end it ends up coming to bite him back in the butt for doing illegal concept things anyway the government doesn't know that Gwen's mother has left them and they're sort of just living secretly thinking that and the government thinks that the her mother is just sick at home Tom is a high school senior who lost his dad a little while ago, and the only memory of his dad is the truck that his dad gave him. But sadly, this truck is a gas-guzzling monster. At the beginning, Tom goes through like a bunch of internal dilemmas about selling the truck, but knowing that it his, was his dad's truck, and it was the only thing that he had left of his dad, he didn't want to sell it. Nikki is a upper-class senior who literally gets anything she wanted. Her dad is a stock was a stockbroker. In the very beginning of the book, when gas is eight dollars a gallon, Nikki and her family are perfectly fine because they can afford eight dollars a gallon because usually stock market peoples can always afford really expensive things. Later on in the book, uh stuff happens. Yeah. In the book, Nikki's dad loses her job, his job, because their comp the company is downsizing. And when the company downsizes, he loses his job, and they can't afford anything. So Nikki loses like power. She loses her cell phones. She can't get her contact re contact prescription refilled, and she ends up having to wear glasses and like actually be a regular girl with no fancy things because she just can't afford it. Now onto the relationships, because we all know with all teenagers, we have to have some sort of relationship. At the very beginning of the book, Nikki was dating this guy named Brock. He was a jock. He was a flirt and a jerk. And let's just leave it at the point of Nikki lost interest in him, for the most part. Tom was sort of that like middle class outcast kind of person that somehow always ends up with the rich person. And, uh, needless to say, that becomes a thing. Now, you may wonder where Glenn's l relationship was. Well, with Gwen, she really didn't have any kind of actual relationship other than the fact that she had her brother, which was just her brother, and Tom was just Gwen's friend, for the most part. Uh, while this relationship drama was going on, the country decided it would be a great idea to fight over non-existent gas. And the war ends, and they both figure out that there's just no fuel left whatsoever. That's great. Can anything get worse? How, you may ask? Huh. Maybe, uh... Super hurricane that destroys everything? I think so. Yep, it got worse. Now ain't it fun how when everything seems like it can't get worse, it gets worse? I think so. A lot of people think that life as you know it would be over at this point, but really, it's just changed. At the end of the book, they find, end up finding this magical thing that makes all of their problems go away. Well, it's not magic, and, well, didn't make all of their problems go away. But for the most part, it made the electricity and, like, decent needing food problems go away. When you have no fossil fuels, you can't get food. It just works that way. It, there's no electric trucks. No electric big semi trucks. Not yet. Now, from what I've told you, uh, 
Did anybody notice that there's literally almost no adults in the book? Yeah, I'd probably like to think to the fact of they're trying to show you how to do things a new way, which is renewable energy, but instead they'd want to keep out the old way, which is the government being the government being ridiculously slow on advancing technology and older people stubborn and don't want to change the way they do it ever that is probably why there's no adults it that is probably why there isn't any yeah uh, that is probably why there isn't adults why am i having a, such a problem say saying adults i don't know now let me sum up this whole book for you really quickly I need gas no I need gas no I need gas no I'll fight you for it no I need gas I don't have any I need food don't have any I need shelter don't have any I need the super hurricane to go away I can't. I need this magical thing that solves all of our magical problems. Here, have something that'll solve half of them. No, but really, the world is running out of fossil fuels, and when the world turns upside down, you're going to need each other. And in the very end, that's all you need is each other, because people in the old days, they managed to do things their way without fossil fuels, without electricity, without anything and they survived why because they had each other and really the way that the world is running on fossil fuels i think it's just because it's tradition yep i said it you know where it came from <laughs> peace